Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and this is my craft room. So this is just a overview of my space. Only a few things have changed from when I did this overview pan to when I'm going to do each individual space um, separately because I felt like that was the easiest way for me to share all of my space with you all. There's my dog Rocky. And so I am going to come in and share each place, hopefully with better lighting. So here we go. The first thing is my closet. I have two closets in my apartment in this room and one of them this one over here is for my clothes and this is for more importantly my crafting stuff so this is mostly my overflow um i have some stuff up here um sorry for some of this is going to get a little faded there we go so this black box on the far left is like magazines layouts that i've printed in the past something i can pull for inspiration if need be i've got some memorabilia and then that big tub has things that i'm going to put vinyl on at some point shirts and water cups things of that nature um, and they're in there because I don't do it very often, but it's nice to have to pull out when I'm making gifts or when I just want to toss something together for a friend. I do have a laminator I bought when I was working in a, a preschool, but I've never used it with my um, scrapbooking before. And then I have these bins over here. Some of them, those green and blue ones are from the dollar store. And then this one right here, this nice black one. I just have like random things stuck in there right now. But I need to find a new home and some things to organize in there. And then I have some pictures and stuff and some Cricut cartridges. And then this shoe rack I use to have, it's got spring, summer, fall and winter in it and it's like the little itty bitties that um don't go with the collection they're kind of loosey-goosey stuff some of it is uh, die cuts that i've cut out and didn't use or got from like ebay years ago there's some chipboard in there some jolies by you like the little flowers and then i just have one for each of the seasons because it's something easy to pull and use on a layout and then I have some Spanish um, words and phrases down in the bottom that came from different things, not collections. I have like Dora the Explorer and some different things. I worked in a Spanish immersion school and when I document things from there, I like to pull from those so that it has some Spanish on it. And that little pink tote hanging down is a gift that I won. I wrote an essay about being in the military and how scrapbooking is affected my life or something like that. Uh, this was in like 2006, 2007, and I won that, and it's got some goodies in it that I can use when I go places to scrapbook. And then I was gifted this silhouette. I've never used it. That little bin below it is full of silhouette um, things that I need for that, like the cables and mats and such. I've not used it yet, so we'll see. And then I have this four drawer um, that I got from Walmart, Sterilite. And it's more sturdy than like the clear plastic, which you'll see one of those in my stash as well. Um, this top drawer has my heating tool, my heat transfer vinyl, and my just regular vinyl, as well as the scraps. Um, and the second drawer is like card making things, some envelopes, different size like card bases, already made cards. And then this drawer has um extra trimmers some mats some stencils uh, like big stencils for like circles and hearts and stuff and then in, it also has some other little bits that i um don't use or have extras of and then the bottom has memorabilia and stuff in it so i'm not even opening that it's heavy <laughs> that's why it's on the bottom drawer so that is all that is in this closet. Really, there is an empty plastic container that used to have those picture boxes in it. But I have found another place for those because the handle broke on that. So it was a little inconvenient. But I didn't want to get rid of it just yet unless I found I might find something to use it for. Because that's the way I roll. And then there's a Creative Memories um, tote down there as well. 
So that's what's in here. And then next to this, if I'm being honest, okay, first of all, there's my dog. Um, if I'm being 100% honest, I have been working for um, almost two months trying to get my room ready for this um, video. And these things still have not found a home. So they just kind of hang out right here. So these two boxes have my kids' artwork from like elementary and preschool. Um, and then this three box bin right here. The top two have ephemera and this and that so that I need to find homes for. The bottom is pictures. And then that very bottom blue box is my wedding book. And if you've been watching any of my videos and you know that I'm getting divorced, I know that seems weird, but my husband and I are friends and there are lots of family members, including my child in there, my niece and stuff. So I'm going to take it apart and put it in a scrapbook, all of it. And then I bought this artwork specifically for my scrap room. I didn't realize it was so blurry. It says, do what you love and do it often. And I do, I do. Um, and then I have this tote from scrapbookingwithamory.com and I love this. If you have not checked out her website, it's scrapbooking the day away, but the website is scrapbookingwithamory.com and I love it full of inspiration and it's so great. Okay, so this is directly to the left. If you were looking in my closet and you turn to your left, this is what you see. Uh, this is one of those Sterilite three drawers that I was talking about. And of course my dog had to get in the middle of my video. So over here on the right, I have five sticker books. Four of them are crop and style. One is a creative memories. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. They're empty and I will be sharing with you how I have stored my stickers to get them out of there because I was not using it. I was not pulling them out. I was not using them unless it was something super specific, like a holiday or something I was looking for. So on the top, I have my Cricut Expression, and this is the one that takes cartridges. And I keep this because some of the cartridges I have were gifts that I couldn't um, get onto my design space. So I'm going to lose that um, availability. And I just don't want to do that because there's some that are specific that I really like to use. So in this top drawer, I have scraps. On the right, I have like the shiny bits or the specialty paper um, scraps. And then over here in this little shoebox container, I have smaller scraps that are not jagged, so they're trimmed down, but they're not like three by three or anything. They're pretty small. But I use those a lot for my Cricut especially. And then in this drawer is stickers, but they're kind of like the stickers that are too big to fit in the containers that I have put the themed stickers in or there are things that aren't really themed and I don't know what to do with them. And then I have memories down here in the bottom. Sorry for how quick I was moving. I have sped this up a little so it's not taking me forever. That container right there has my brads in it and some beads or something. I'm not pulling that out and so I need to find a better place to store that so I actually use them. This little tray right here or envelope holder these little magnets on the front, one of my former students created. He is deaf and made these, and I love them. These cards are some of my scrappy friend cards that they've sent me, and I like to have them out on display. My kiddo made that little container, so I use it to hold notepads. And now, don't make fun of me. I know I have a lot of layouts that are not in books, and they need to get there, and I know. I know. I'm getting there. So the top three of these Sterilite drawers are beach travel 2022 and the bottom three drawers are beach travel 2010 to 2019 now does that seem uneven it certainly does i do have three books of the 2010 to 2019 already pretty chock full of layouts so you aren't getting the full effect of them plus i'm not done i have plenty of pictures still and then this little tray up here i just have like my contract for dotty about flair my um, calendar that's old, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. I have some journals in there. Uh, that little cross right there, I made in wood shop in seventh grade. So, yay, go me. Uh, the clock face fell off, but that's okay. This bin up on the top is like an iris case, and it has beach um, ephemera or things that I can use to scrapbook our beach trips. Um, so, it's not necessarily beach, it's got like um, cards and different things in there because we play cards and stuff at the beach. Uh, this top drawer is like 2018 I've started. That's my next chronological um, move. 
And then I have older pictures from like my childhood. And then these are from 2017 and before. Because 2018 and, and net up to current are either in a scrapbook or are going in one and have a special place. Now, this set of drawers from Michael's. I would love for you all to give me some ideas on how you would use them. I would love to use them and keep things organized. I don't need them for pictures. I have all that under control, but I have like cords in here. I have like discs that have pictures like and or books or something on it. Random hodgepodge things. There has got to be a better way to use this, right? Down here I've got... Um, the instructions on how to use some of the different tools that I have for scrapbooking. These are pictures from my 10th birthday. Yes, they're Polaroids. Yes, I said 10. These are pictures I've already documented in every book that I can think of to put them in. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with these. Um, I'm going to have to get creative and think of something because I hate to waste. I mean, what would I do with all those pictures? So if you have ideas for how to use these, and I can take those slats out and make the drawer space, like the little spaces wider. Um, or completely open. So suggestions are greatly appreciated in the comments below. And then I also have two of these. Now one's here and one's somewhere else and you'll see that in a little bit. I would love suggestions on how to properly use this too. The things that are in here for the most part are things that came with this little kit and it's a neat kit. One of them was Christmas and one of them was like um, spring or something. So it's got these little frames um, there's like these little florals, like Prima looking florals, um, it, and some other things. Okay. So this did not come with it. This is a picture of me in high school. I know. So cute. And all that hair. Oh, and then there's these little one by one squares that came from the same material. So I'd love to get an idea for how to use those. This is my selfie, my Canon selfie. I do love, love that. I don't print all my pictures that way. That would be way too expensive and time consuming. I have this um, uh, lamp back here and it's got a little tray on it. So I use that to store my stuff that goes with my, with my Canon selfie. So here is the layout on this side of the room. So let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so this is my first Calyx unit. And it is a two by four. Um, and so the bottom four shelves are all either started or completed scrapbooks, as well as this one next to the drawers. So the very bottom is my husband's year and a half of deployment in 2006 and 2000, through 2008. And then I have um, a travel and one of them is holidays. And then the two... Um, that are on top of each other there are Disney 2021. This top drawer here has random pictures that are still in some kind of order like my in-laws pictures before 2000, um, older pictures, some discs with pictures, um, if, different things like that. They are organized in a sense and then this bottom drawer is very organized and in color rainbow fashion. Everything is labeled and most of these things will go in books um, based on like that's going to go in an all about me book. I'm going to probably make a book about me and my sister at some point. So those are all organized in that fashion. These are just loose pictures. That is a box with all the ephemera and pictures from my time at the school I just left. And then this is my all about me book. This is a scrapbook with uh, it's for my husband's military career, and yes, I'm still going to do that. This is my Cricut uh, stuff, so that's ju my two jukeboxes with the cartridges and the books that go with them. Those are the ones that I use the most and still love. Don't make fun of me, you all, okay? Here are my completed layouts for 2022, these top two bins. The next two bins are Christmas, and then this bottom two is my daughter. One's completed layouts, and the other one is the stuff I need to do her baby book. Nope, her elementary school book. This right here is um, the page protectors, 12 by 12. These are the 8.5 by 11 and smaller. And then these two boxes have some um, just random pictures that are separated out. And those are more 2022 layouts that need to go in the bin. I just haven't gotten that far. And then over here to the top of my second 2 by 4 Calyx is um 
Oh, let's see. We're going to start down here. I got more albums. Um, the very bottom starts with 2018 and then goes over. The ca The military ones are 2019 The um, and the next is 2020 and then 21 is kind of buried. So this one cubicle is my daughter's scrapbooks and then the next one right here I'm pointing out is my son's. And then this right here is all beach scrapbooks. And then this is all chipboard. There's some chipboard ephemera and then just regular chipboard. Here's my big shot and all the goodies that go with it. I don't have a lot. I just started in December, but I do enjoy it when I remember to pull it out. This is Brad's eyelets. I got my crocodile, which is broken right now, which makes me cry. I'm going to have to try and figure out if I can fix it. Uh, this is a scrapbook of my niece, my nephew, my son, and my daughter. This is my Christmas stash. This bottom box is all my 2021 layout or uh, scrapbook stuff that is left over that I didn't use yet. Uh, that cup came from my friend Anne Marie, and those cards are from some of my Anne Marie friends um, and my scrappy buddies. This is some loosey goosey uh, scrapbook stash for Christmas, and then there's pictures and some other ephemera in those boxes. This is my 2021 December daily. And it's so fun. And I do have a video for that. And I have some pictures up here. This is a picture that my son made of my dad. Um, just some other random things. And this over here is my award for my 500 subscribers that my son made for me. So I did a layout about that. And then my scrapbooks go over that way. And I'll get to those. Um, and down here I have... These four bins, one of them is all military, one of them is all Disney, one has completed layouts for my in-laws, and then the top one is layouts that go in a book I haven't started. And this is my birthday box. It has a birthday scrapbook for specific things. This is how I've decided to organize most of my stickers that are not based on collections. Uh, when I first started scrapbooking, this is what I did. I collected all these random stickers from Michaels and Hobby Lobby. I got a lot of those ones that come off of rolls. So these are all smaller collections and themes like Easter, um, Valentine's Day, things like that. So let's move on to the next thing. All right. So this is the Calyx unit that is my attached to my desk or vice versa. This right here is all eight and a half by 11 or smaller empty albums. That's the rest of 2021 in the beginning. Right here is 2022 in the purple. Then I have a small Sterilite and I apologize for the lighting. It's pretty bad under the desk, but normally I don't need light. I've got my clean daubers, my um, ones that have color on them, and then some alcohol wipes or um, pads. And then I also have my new... Um, lovely little br um, brushes and then this is the bin that sits right next to my desk and it's got the stuff I use most frequently aside from my most most frequently so I've got some post-it notes uh, some wipes the little palettes to use for my pastes and things I've got the pins I use a lot uh, my sticker makers in there but I really don't use that very often so, and then right behind that is the mixed media that I use the most, or I guess the second most, I don't know. <laughs> so this is texture paste. This next one, um, there's my little watercolor palette and my alcohol ink palette. This one's got pastes and butters. And then I have um, alcohol inks and embossing powders back there. And then these are Lucy Goosey stickers that don't necessarily go with a collection or I don't have a collection. Like most of these here are all from the dollar store. Um, so I have all of those right here. And then these are, like I said, loose ones that I don't have a collection to go with them. They may have a collection, but I don't have like the stuff that goes with them. And those are pretty close. They're literally right next to my head. Um, and then these are sticker books and the books that for like planners and then my pencils and my watercolors right next to that on the bottom is this is where I toss my um, scraps until I'm ready to organize them. And then I have these cute little um, stickers back here that I like to pull out when the time is right. They're very girly and then some very boy like ones. And then this is like mini albums. So I got a ton of these. I didn't buy any of them. 
none of them. They all came, well, I mean, I kind of did. Um, and then these are creations that I learned how to build with um, scrapbooking with Anne-Marie.com. It is not her fault that I have not put anything in them. <laughs> I get really into the things and then I set them aside to decorate later and then I didn't do it. I have done a lot, but I've given them as gifts. And so these are ones I've built and have not either given out or haven't finished. So this is the top of that shelf and there's my daddy. He's always watching out for me. And I just wanted to point out, there's the picture my son drew a couple months after my dad died. There's the picture of him. Looks pretty spot on, right? Right next to my dad are these Michaels containers. This one is a little cubicle thing that's like probably supposed to sit the other direction, but I like it this way. It holds my stickos and my paper studios that are too tall to fit in the um these little um calyx bins or refrigerator bins. And so I put those there and my branding strips are behind them. And then I have this little container with my Tim Holtz. And then this one's got ribbon and some, that's not really washy. It's like paper tape. And all three of those little things came from Michael's. There's my Aunt Light, my little Jesus and my Fox. Um, and then these little containers came from um, Ikea as well. And they have little shapes in them, circles, arrows, and I think ribbons. It's just for when I'm trying to get rid of some scraps, I toss, I just punch them and put them in there. So I have a little container back there for my label maker. Then I have hearts, stars, and um, acrylics. And then this whole thing is wood veneer, uh, mostly from some assemblage required. I've got a whole tray of it from my friend Tara. I have a few from Scrapping Reflections. And then this lovely crop and style bit book has my stencils in it, the 6x6 as well as the 12x12. And then this is the next set of Calyx units. This is what's underneath all that stuff I just shared. I've got my washi. Um, I have more washi. And then back here behind my planner is more washi. I have a container with some pictures in it that are kind of, they're organized. Yes, I have a lot of pictures, I know. There's my Dottie About Flare container right where I can reach for it at any time. And then this is my matte stack papers. Um, and then here is my Distress inks and oxides, as well as my Distress crayons and these little Tim Holtz tins. They are all labeled. They all are in color order of the rainbow. And then here are my stamps, some of them. This starts my collection, starting with 49 and Market and going alphabetical by first name of, or of the person or by the company. So, and it ends with Vicki Booten. And so these little picture bins actually have the ephemera that go with the collections. They are also in alphabetical order by first name or the name of the company. So, um, I love that concept and I will go over in another video how I store my paper in those cool plastic containers. This is my pictures. These are the ones I work on most often. Um, that's current 2022, current beach 22. That right there is a scrapbook I'm making for, it's kind of like December daily, but in August, that's what we're doing with scrapbooking with amory.com. And you also saw my Creative Memories trimmer, and then there was my personal trimmer from Creative Memories with my thickers. My alpha thickers are separated out. They also have Mondo Llamas in there, and then some other random stickos and stuff. This little bin has all of my favorite thing. <laughs> it's got all of the um, fun foam. And then this has my extras. So extra double-sided tape, extra uh, wax, ta wax paper. This is a circled cutter my friend just sent me for Christmas in July. I love it. I've already used it a few times. And it makes my life so much easier if it's just for a couple of circles. I don't have to turn my Cricut on. And then this is my gems and my enamel shapes, which I adore using for that extra fluff and fun on my layouts. And all the way back down here, this is some stamps, like, um, close to my heart stamps I got at a Facebook auction, some stamps I got at Hobby Lobby from Peacecraft Love, and then I bought the Stamparatus from Stampin' Up, and I cannot wait to start using that. I just haven't done it yet. 
Um, these are just the kind of stamp pads that I don't mind getting yucky. So um, back up to the top. I bought these really cool bins at Ikea. They're like cardboard. I don't have anything in them. Ideas? Ideas? Anyone? Ideas? They're just really cute and they match those little containers. Um, these dollar store bins. This one has tissue and bubble wrap just for texture and for something to add. This is all packaging so I can use it for inking or for the acetate. This is six by six and six by eight paper pads. I have them organized by company. So it's like pink fresh. And then I got some Echo Park and Stampin' Up. Uh, die cuts with a view, American Crafts, Paper Studio, it's all in there. This is my grandmother's journal and then a journal that I'm either going to continue her life journal or make one of my own. Um, and those came from Amazon. And then this is my paper pads and they're organized by theme. So it's travel, sports and camping, um, floral, then it's like night sky kind of stuff like black and white papers, um, star papers, things like that. And then this is pocket cards and all the fun that goes with that. And then this bottom little container has stickers. They are separated by theme, like community helpers and things like that. So up here, I have this um, kit organizer. Here's the name of it. That came from Ikea. I'm going to build a kit in there. Those are sentiments. Um, this down here is another kit builder, but right now it's got ephemera and memorabilia that's going with the pictures I'm scrapping. That brown book is my COVID book. The green one is my very first scrapbook from 1996. And then those yellow ones are new that I've never used. These are also ones that are empty and have not been used. I haven't like assigned them to a person or a certain thing. And then these right here are gifts. So here is my final Ikea Calyx, and it is a two by four. The one I just shared was a three by four. So here's another one of those um, drawers. Now, I don't know. I may not even keep this one because this one doesn't pull the drawers, especially these smaller ones don't open as well. But like I said, if you have ideas for at least the one, please share. That is my junk journal where I just stick the loosey gooseys. This white um, shelf, which could be a shelf or a stand-up unit like this, is for Michaels. I have this first part of it is organized, and it's the thin pattern papers, and it's in there by color. And that's some scraps that are too big for the drawer. There's some acetate. And then um, I have this specialty paper, which is kind of like these fancy papers or like basil, things with um, gold shiny in them, things like that. It also has my Tuesday morning pouch papers. And then this is themes. So it's like travel, family, um, stars, things like that. And then this last one I love, this is my small collections. And these plastic containers came from... Amazon. And then these are my around the world in 30 days layouts. And then these are all the specialty layouts for other hops that I'm doing um, and design teams and things like that. And then that's just a scrapbook for the school I used to work for. Now, this is my dream paper space and this is all cardstock and that's the name of this. It came from Ikea, not even attempting. You can put these together and use them either direction. So um, when I say either direction, I mean this way where you have a lip to pull on or where you have a lip to help keep the paper in place. Um, and I have that in rainbow order, and that's the 8.5 by 10 paper, or 8.5 by 11. And then this is my stamps and my big terabyte of space where all my daddy's pictures are. Um, here's some scrap paper, and this is patterned scrap paper. And then I have this gorgeous thing of rainbow paper. And this is my 12 by 12. And here is where it, what it's called. It's from Stampin' Storage. I did order it on Amazon. It is kind of pricey, but it was made to fit in a Calyx. And I knew I wanted something I wasn't going to have to worry about fitting or not fit, taking holding enough paper. These are collect not collections, but like a bunch of dog paper and ephemera, uh, preschool, weddings, things like that. Things I scrapbook more frequently, not weddings, but I do have a big wedding to scrapbook. Um, these are brand papers, but they're the thin ones. So it's like American Craft Recollections and Paper Studio. Those are separated out. I haven't decided if I'm going to leave them that way because I don't always remember that I have a certain 
kind of paper that's American Crafts or whatever. So I may change that. These are alphas that are pre-cut and I've had those for a long time and I've used a ton but I have a bunch of them. These containers are called Kugis and I got them. That's a two pack you get right there and the other one was patterned eight and a half by 11. Then this is my mixed media. I'm sorry it's going so fast. I already know this is like 40 minutes long. Those are my Peacecraft Love Mixed Media Kits, and I'm getting ready to dive into those this week. I am so excited. So that is my last Calyx. So here's my desk. So that Calyx, I had to turn directly around, and this is what I see. So here is my desk, which I adore. I love. I get so much happiness out of this space. This little doodad right here is just full of like those loosey-goosey stickers. There's like one left. I don't want to put it back in the um, collection or back in the kit or whatever. This is a pen holder, but I use it for trash. I think it's so cute. I love it. It came from the dollar store. This did not come from the dollar store. This is whatever that name is right there not even going to attempt. That also came from Ikea, if you couldn't tell. And I love this thing. It was an impulse buy. It was one of those things that I did not have on my list to buy when I went to Ikea for the very first time in my life. And I did buy this. I love it. And it holds all of my stuff right here on my desk. And these are the things that I use every time I do a layout. My um, tweezers, my scissors, my glue. There's my baby, my favorite glue. Um, my watercolor pens. I mean, some of the stuff I don't use every layout, but I use it a lot. But obviously scissors, tape, typically tweezers, typically obviously glue. Um, I use all that stuff on a pretty regular basis. These are just little labels that go on something that I have. I haven't decided if I'm going to use them. There's my tacky scissors and my regular scissors, my foam tape roll, some pictures that I haven't decided exactly what I want to do with yet. On the back, there's this big pouch, and I'm not using this to its full potential. I know that. I'm getting there. But I have my rulers and my T-square and um, like a tear a tear stick I can't I don't remember what they're called but it helps you tear paper pretty and there's a little pouch like space in between and so I put some packaging and stuff down there and here's my layouts that I've been working on or I'm getting ready to organize and put into books here's my iPad I watch all of my YouTube on there while I'm scrapbooking tissues I gotta have water I gotta have these right here oh, these are my charms that I have earned from scrapbooking layouts for scrapbookingwithannemarie.com. You get a charm for every 30 layouts you do. And I have more on their way. I'm so excited. And then, of course, they're hanging on my tripod. They make me happy, so I leave them right there to make me smile. Y'all really need to go and check it out. And this beauty is from Some Assemblage Required. I did a video about this. I love this. And this is the color. I'm almost positive I'm painting it. It's silver. I think that it'll look really cool in my space. Um, I keep the stuff that I kind of grab for on a pretty frequent basis in here. Um, my um, acrylics or enamel, um, things like that stuff that um, I know I could put it elsewhere, but I grab it so often. And then here's my little stamp blocks. I think I'm going to use this for kits. I haven't decided yet. It sits on my desk and I think I'm leaving it there because I really like it. That word right there is the brackets that hold the tabletop to my Calyx unit. I wanted to show you that because I also don't think I could say that word. Um, and that's the only thing I needed to attach it to the calyx. It sits on top of my Alex, uh drawers. So this is the little drawer that goes with this some assemblage required. And I keep my Bramble Fox in there. I just got my first Fox box this week. I am super excited. And so I'm going to store them in there because they work well with my Dottie About Flair, which is on the other side of me. So they're both very close to grab for. And so this is my Alex drawers. And the top drawer is my um, pretty frequently used stuff. See, I have a lot of that, don't I? Uh, my Tim Holtz Distressor. I got pins in there. Um, some different things. And then this marble. Because I always have to remember I haven't lost them all. Right? And if you don't know what that phrase means, I'm sorry. <laughs> So I have erasers, I have my glue eraser, I have extra backup glue. I do like Tombow, but Nouveau is definitely my favorite. Um, I have a branding or a 
brandishing tool that came with my Cricut. Got some little pouch baggies in the back if I've got some loose ephemera, my little goodies that are hidden, some things to wipe off pictures or my glasses, my double-sided tape, some washi I use to tack down stencils, my fancy scissors to make fray, my creative memories corner rounder, and then of course some foam tape that came from the dollar store. That's thicker, like wider. The second drawer is like my paper is not paper pads is my notepads and I have some like receipts and things in here. This is my list of layouts I've completed. I keep them up to date by month so that I can let Anne Marie know and so I can keep up with it myself. And then that other notebook has like my short journal for the day, like the things that I do each day, especially if I take pictures. This drawer has some of my favorite little bits. Um, this is corner um, stickers to go on the corners. Then brand, um, blending brushes or brand, blending foams. This has tags, little po not tags, pockets, frames, and doilies. That's what it's in. The next one has tags. Metal ones, sticker ones, paper ones, all sorts of tags. And then the last one has fasteners in it. Um, so like staples, if you don't know what they are. Um, I don't use them very often. That's why they're in the very back. I probably should pull those out and start using them more often so I can use them up. This is my punch drawer. These are all the punches I have. A lot of them I rarely, if ever, use. But these that I use all the time, the one to make tags. I have one that does the paper um, that my friend Tara gave me. And one I bought like at the exact same time, but they're different, so that's good. And then the bottom drawer has tool, twine, ribbon, thread, my little sewing kit, which I use on layouts not to sew anything. Um, not very often either. Um, so I love this little container came from Hobby Lobby and it fits in here perfect. So right over here to my right underneath my desk is my Tim Holtz um, mixed media mat and I pull this out easily anytime I'm aiming for this beauty right here. This is my mixed media cart. It's a Lexington from Michaels. I love this cart. So that, the, to the toilet paper, <laughs> paper towel holder, and both these two cups at the end all came from Michaels. I love, love, love this thing. It sits next to me when I'm working with mixed media. It's behind me out of my way when I'm not. Um, I just love it. So I have it in rainbow order. Of course, but over here, I have two different cups. One has pens that will write on darker papers and one that it does not, or at least it's not necessarily going to work on paper, dark paper. So these are in rainbow order. The first two container, these little plastic containers underneath are from Hobby Lobby. It came in a set of three. So they're in rainbow order um, from reds down and then it starts in the blues on the next one. These are all Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I have inked all the top of them. I got I bought from Ranger the little circle um, labels that go on the top and I inked them all myself. I love looking at this. It sits next to me, it sits next to me often and I just look at it in happiness these two are Tim Holtz distress but they're just sprays they are not the oxides and I didn't buy them on purpose <laughs> to be honest those other three are mica mist which they will have some joining them soon and then these against the side are delusions sprays and they are labeled on the top as well a couple were also accidental purchases these on the side are du duplicates i already have one so i haven't put a um, color dauber at the top because when i am done with one i'll just take the top off and switch it out no point in wasting a sticker right and then these beauties are delusions shimmer sprays by diane reefley and i love them they are shiny and splendid and Oh, so fabulous. They are just vibrant. Um, the Distress Oxides kind of um, dilute and go, you know, like they're supposed to. And I love that look. But when you want something shiny and beautiful, oh, those shimmer sprays are the best. I love them. So underneath there, I have my stickles are in this container under here, um, upside down, because that is the way I've been told is the best way to store them. Um, a few of these are Recollections um, glue, glitter glue, and then I have these pops of color from scrapbook.com, 
And then I also have some Tim Holtz Distress paint. Um, and then back here in this clear container is my Nuvo drops. And I have a few extras, so I'm going to end up having to buy another container. Darn. I did make room in this con um, thing for another container. I have some wipes because Lord knows I make a mess. And then that back there is my acrylic paints. And I have ink swabbed the top of those as well. So the bottom just has my extra paint brushes, some off-brand um, glitter glue, gesso, Mod Podge, an extra bottle of um, ink that I already had um, labeled, some other paints and things, the labels from Ranger, and then I also have my refresher from Tim Holtz when it's time to refresh some of my um, stuff that needs some good love and that I use a lot. <laughs> so that is the end of my mixed media cart, which like I said, I love and adore so much. So here is one more view it's the same view from the beginning thank you all so much if you have stayed this whole 40 minutes i appreciate you i hope you got some kind of idea or inspiration from my insane amount of stash and um my one or two um ikea units i hope you all will comment below let me know if you have questions want any um of the brands or items that you have seen I would love to hear from you. Any suggestions on those items that I pointed out? Other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day and happy scrapping.